Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Shovel Knight, King of Cards. This time, what are we gonna do? You know what, how about we go attempt Tinker Knight again? Now that I know a bit more what is going on with him. Oh yeah. Oh, that makes it much easier, we just start at this phase. It's nice that that happens. Well, let, ooh, almost died there. Alright, come here you little jerk. Uh, he's kind of hard to get to. There we go. Oh no. I died. Oh wait. Yeah, I forget. I have this. Uh, how about we just throw some of those at you? There we go. That's what I need. I really need some hearts. There we go. Alright. And I died. I thought I would make that jump, but I did not. Alright. Gotta shake the rust off here a bit. Just gotta shake that off. Aw, oh, come on. Go to an area. Oh, all the way over here. Oh, I thought he went in the area that I couldn't go to yet for a second, but... No, that wouldn't be possible. I don't believe. Alright, jerk. Wow, I don't even need that heart, damn it. And I fell. Slipped right in there. That was bad. Alright, let's get our heart out. Heart hammer. Thank you very much. No, why would you fall into the gap, you stupid heart? Alright. I need you to shoot those missiles if I'm going to get up here. <laughs> Things are starting off great. What a what a fantastic beginning. Yeah, now you're just gonna walk back over there. Gonna keep making me walk around the long way just to get back to you. All right. Hmm. Maybe the saber is best for this. No, that doesn't quite get me high enough. But whatever. Let's stick with it for now. We actually managed to get a heart there. Jeez. One of those stupid wrenches managed to get me. I've actually watched somebody play um, Shovel Knight Showdown recently, like with other people, which is like the Shovel Knight fighting game that they released, basically. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of an arena fighter, like Super Smash Brothers or Rivals of Aether. More closely related to Rivals of Aether, I guess, since Rivals of Aether is 2D as well. Um, but Tinker Knight is like a stupidly good character because he he has uh, his gear there that he can fly on and he just throws those wrenches and they do normal damage. I really wish I could rebound off the front of the robot here to get up. That would uh, make this fight a bit easier. Very jerk. But yeah, he just sits here like an asshole and throws these things at you. And that's his that's his whole gimmick. Ah. Yeah, I hate that you can't um like do your little jump off the uh front there. Because I keep trying to get onto the stupid drill. But I can't. Wow, that messed me up bad. And damn it. <laughs> this is hard. This is definitely one of the harder ones with um, King Knight's movement, I feel. I guess it would have been harder with Shovel Knight, but with Shovel Knight, you can kind of just put your shovel down and bounce all over the place. So it's a lot easier to get up here because you can just keep bouncing off the wrenches, if I remember correctly. But with King Knight, you specifically have to kind of weirdly platform up here. I mean, you can still bounce off the wrenches, but it's slightly harder to do. Give me that. No. no. See, and if you, if you just happen to bounce off a wrench the incorrect way, you fall all the way back down here. And sometimes I can't actually see where King Knight went on the screen because I'm bouncing off a wrench 
that's at the top of the screen, so I go off. And then I have no idea where I'm going to land. And there's, like, weirdly parts of this aren't solid. Like, if you touch it, you'll just fall through it. Which feels a little weird. There we go. Come here, you. You're not getting away. Alright. He's pretty low now. We might be able to do it here. Oh no. Oh, you stupid asshole, King Knight. Also move, please. What? I was like, kind of stuck there? When uh, I was on my rats? I couldn't move. Damn it. So when I when I fell into that pit, I had my rats and I was trying to control because you can control where you're going to go. I was trying to do that, and he he just wouldn't move. He was kind of like I guess he was pinned against the mech and the wall, even though this part of the mech has like no substantial place in the environment. It's just his drill that exists. Everything else is an illusion. All right, but we found out. A little bit better way to handle this. So after I dash, if I like mess up a dash, I can just dash again to get back up there. And those things destroyed all my platforms. And he's still just sitting up there doing his dumb shit with the wrenches. There we go. Ah, those stupid things. There we go. We made it. Now we just have to get back over there. Be careful, let's try to chill on offense a bit and just go for safety. Ah, come on, I missed him and then I hit the stupid spikes in the back that I just learned you can hit. There we go. So if you miss him, then you just fly back towards the back of this thing too, which can be rough. There we go. No, you stupid cannons. Oh, and I barely didn't have enough room to actually... Please fall faster. Thank you. Didn't do any good, though. And then I got blocked by the, like, missile torpedo thing he shoots. Yeah, I'm just having a really hard time actually getting to his little jackass. I hate him. <laughs> I hate him so much. I'm gonna be so happy when I smash your face in with my shoulder. It's going to give me such happiness. Yeah, I feel like... Jesus, okay, can we just... Can we just go ahead and lose this one? I just lost half of my HP immediately, so... Just kill me if you'd kindly. Come on. There we go. Man, I don't know why this is so hard for me right now. I mean, there's a lot... There's a lot going on on the screen, so I get... I get that. But... Jeez. He's hands down the most obnoxious knight to fight. I don't really feel like many of my, like a lot of the other fights, I feel like my relics could be pretty good. This one, I can't really think of a time I would use my relics. Maybe Turncoat, that's why I switched to it. But even then, it's just like, once you get up there to actually attack him, it's so easy to just fall off. And then you're down here and you gotta redo it all again. Which I guess is the point, but... All right, pretty good run here. If we can just keep it up, which we can't. No. Give me that. I think the robot speeds up at some point too, which might be what is messing me up, but hey, we did it. Might cut some of those attempts out, I, I don't know. It looks like it was about nine minutes of attempting that with mostly just me complaining the entire time, so. We'll see in editing, and we'll see how long this video is. Alrighty. There we go. He's down. Tinkernod is defeated. The asshole himself. The gold chest, sealed cellar. Uh... So what's the point of this? I mean, I guess it's just to do that? Wow, that's a lot of money, actually. Hello. Anything else hidden in here? Doesn't look like it. 
There wasn't anything hidden the opposite way, was there? Doesn't matter, I can't get them to go back down. So yeah, that was just a free chest full of money, basically. Fun fun, I guess. I guess this level up here isn't even actually required. Oh yeah, I can do this now, because I have 10 medals. And now I actually know how to spin him. Before I was just running into him and was not accomplishing what I wanted to. Beep, beep, and beep, 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 or beep. A talking automaton, blah, 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 blah. Gyro boots become a damaging tornado that climbs walls. Spin again when your color fades. Purchase complete. Thank you. Please repeat to the gold. Warning. Shoulder bash disabled. All right. Ooh. That looks like it could be fun for a boss fight. Looks like it could be really fun. I mean, it's very, very wonky to control. Like, it's super fast, and you kind of slide all over the place like you're on ice. But I could see it potentially, like, decimating a boss almost immediately. Just because of how much damage you do. Like, it's so fast, though. You just move incredibly quickly. Uh. It's so fast. Okay, there we go. We managed to make it onto the ladder. Can I get some health? Is that so much to ask? There we go. So when you when it turns red, you have to spin again to kind of stay in the air, I guess. That wasn't so bad. Congratulations, you've reached the goal. Thank you, Master. Awaiting further input. Oh, I'll put you in steerage. The chicken will surely extract some value from your ch clanking chassis. Input accepted, Master. I love you, Master. Weesh. Oh yeah, gotta do that. <laughs> Shoulder bash is still disabled. So that's a pretty good item. I see it being sort of rough to use because of how wonky it is, but... Still might be good. Oh, you got some more money for me? 100 merit medals. It's not much. I have another form of patronage. Great is my glory, my saplings swim free, for I am the fish and the fruit and the tree. But you are the sun, the sand, and the waves. May flowers and festivals grow from our graves. Yeah. Alright, we have no medals. We have a ton of money. I guess let's- ooh. Yeah, we have 10,000, so we can go buy some of those fancy upgrades from Mr. Hat. My fancy collection is impractical, implausible, irreplaceable, the paramount of luxury. Yeah. Uh, refit the glide wing? No, I think I want the display overhaul. Oh, now we're looking good. Look at that. Now we're all gold and everything. Beautiful. There's Tinker Knight. If I wanted to fight him, which... Boy, do I not feel like I do. I think we want to fight the robot first in Joustus. They said he was down in steering, I believe. No, that's probably the engine room. I don't think he's down there with a the Trooper King. I think he's probably here. This is steering. No? I thought he would be here. Where is he? Maybe he is down with the Trooper King. I mean, he did come with me, so... Oh, wait, there he is. I just completely missed him. Gems detected and volatile buffer dispensing for master. Thank you. Recreation deficiency detected. Commence joust as subroutine. Beep, beep, beep. Alright. Ready to get beat up, Mr. Robot? Alright. What do we want to go with first? Well, the rat splitter isn't super useful currently. Honestly, none of my cards are. At the moment, so Rat Splitter's the most useful. So how about we put it right there? Go ahead and lock down that center spot. That's a weird placement for that card, isn't it? Just gonna go into the graveyard? Like immediately? Hmm. Let's see, if I do that. <coughs> he would probably be pushed up by that, um like, Forge person, I guess. I forgot what that particular enemy is called. It looks like Tinker Knight, but it's just, like, one of his cronies, basically. 
Hmm. Yeah, he could push me up with that. And I couldn't really push him anywhere else if he did that, so I don't I don't think I'm gonna make that play actually. Let's just put you right there. And he can push you off the map if he wants. Alright. And then push you up there. Just kinda keep this guy off the screen, basically. And now I can push you right into the end. Destroying one of my own cards in the process, but it's worth it. Oh, you want to change allegiances, huh? That's what we're doing now? Um... Hmm. Let's see, what do I want? I can't push either of those down. If I push you up, that's just a free pass for you to get into that spot. I wish I had some of my unity, some of the unity cards of my own here. Okay, let's just do that. See what we can work with there. Ah, oh, he has so many cascade cards. Okay, but now I have a cascade card of my own. How do you feel about that? Ooh, if I do that, that's a pretty good play. Hmm. He doesn't... Let's hope he doesn't have another Cascade card. Let's just do that. Alright. Sounds good to me. Uh, I don't have anything to play here to kind of push them out of the way. Let's push you right there. And then we're going to work on getting that last gym. Okay. Sounds good to me. They can't get that card out of that spot. So I have no... I can't lose it, basically. And he can't steal Polar Knight with this. And then Polar Knight's gonna move into that space next turn. So I think I've got this. So yeah, that's what, that's what you're gonna try to do. Um... Yeah, if I do that, I win. Cool. There we go. Good try, robot. I'm too powerful for you. I would like another one of these. These cascade cards are good. A blade scale. Alright. I probably want to put that into my deck. As I said, those cards are quite powerful. Just being able to steal people's cards. Let's take you out. Because I don't really like you that much. If I'm going to be honest. Here it is. Yeah, I want as many of those in my deck as I can fit, basically. They're just super powerful. I think everyone else is good, so we'll, we'll keep that. I feel pretty comfortable with most of the card types, like, using them. I, do, I just don't really like the ones that switch their arrows. I find those just a bit too confusing for me. Alright, Tinker Knight. When I left them, Minotin swept through the wall halls of my proud home. I plan to build parts of their out of their scraps. But first, I have to play a match or two. There we go. Alright, you jerk. Oh no, not the stupid pitfall things. I hate these. Okay, so he lost a card immediately. Hmm. See, the good part here is I can put Phantom Knight on, like, a graveyard square, so I actually don't lose anything. One of the few times he's actually fairly useful. Um, could make you lose a card. Well, I want to keep these, so I think I'm just gonna... If I did that, he could get onto that space. He doesn't really have a good card to put there, though, so yeah, let's do that. That's fine. Uh... Do I want to do that? He couldn't... No, he could push me back down. If he, pushed, if he put another card there and pushed up, though, he would basically have that spot on lock. I do believe. Oh, wait, no, I could destroy it with the bomb there. Yeah, go ahead and do that. There you go. What a, what a smart player you are. There we are. Thank you. Ooh. 
That's mean. Okay. Okay, okay, I see what you're- I see what you're doing. I see what you're putting down. Um... That makes it temporarily change teams. Ugh, I have too many of these in my deck right now. Little bad, currently. Well, he's not super useful right now, so let's just go ahead and get rid of Polar Knight. Um... That might be a good play there. No, it wouldn't be very good to have him in that spot. In all honesty. Um... Yeah, let's just use this to go ahead and get you out of the way. Pride more, we don't really need you. And... No, that would be absolutely useless if I did that, because then it would just move into the graveyard. Hmm. That would kind of lock down those spaces so no one could get them. And then I could just use all of my Cascade cards at once to kind of just swipe all of those gems. That sounds like kind of a good idea to me, actually. And let's just put a card... Hmm. I think this is what I want to do. Yeah, let's do that. So it creates a little spot for him to put his cards. Um, let's knock you out, I guess. No. Yeah, there's not a lot of other plays we could make, so... I want him to put a card down on that square. Because that will give me the advantage. It doesn't look like he wants to do it, though. <laughs> oh, wait, he doesn't have cards, to. He doesn't have anything that can. Okay. Hmm. And I can't move anything, right? So this is actually the only play I can make. I do believe. He has kind of shitty cards, though, to be honest. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. Yeah, he, he got me there. <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest. Um, I'm probably going to need Treasure Knight back. He, his cards aren't too great, though, so I do think I can do it. He just got me there at the end. I wasn't I wasn't thinking. Yeah. I was trying to line things up down the middle so I could just like cascade a bunch of his cards. But that was not what I needed to do. There you go. Go ahead and push me in there. It's fine. And then I can push you in there. Sounds good to me. I see you're using a uh, treasure knight. Hmm. Not really a point in doing that. I can't do that. Hmm. I guess let's just get rid of Birder. Goodbye, Birder. Need something uh, with a bit more oomph. If you catch my drift. There we go. Now we got a straight path to get that card. Ah, oh, never mind. If you just want to be a jerk about it, fine. Go in the hole. Hmm. Eh, that's not that useful. Neither is that, though, honestly. Could do that. No, that would mess things up. Hmm. That's not a bad move. I really need to get, uh, that, this out of the way, though. But I can't because that thing is over there. Hmm. He doesn't really have very many good things to put right there. So, hmm. If only I could put this down, but I got that stupid, uh, blaze, or er, what is that called? What's the name of that card? Jumbo Lorb. Excuse me. And if I did that... Like I said, that's not really that useful. 
to me. Like, I, I gain a card out of it, but it's not a useful card. Hmm. Let's see. Like I said, I, I need to get this card out of the way, but I don't really see a good way to do that right now. I, mean, I could do that. Eh, yeah, screw it. Let's just do that. More cards on the field for me, I suppose. Okay, so... Now we want to get Pride more out of the way. And get him onto that gym. Okay, so now... Oh, wait, we can't... We can actually push you down. Oh, he might have just won again. Just off of sheer skill alone. I think he did. Uh-oh. Yeah, because I can't push you that way. Can't do anything there or there. Can't push anything off of there. I've completely locked down the middle, so I'm kind of screwed in that department. I can't push you up. Can't push you up either. Yeah, I might have just boned myself there. Might have lost again due to my own negligence. Yeah, like I said though, his cards aren't really that hard or difficult. He just... He has this weird pitfall mechanic that I don't have a lot of experience with, so I don't know the best play to go for, particularly. So he can kind of just use that to his advantage. Yeah, I believe we've lost. I'll just go ahead and put that there. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, his cards aren't, you know, incredibly fantastic or anything, but... It's just the fact that, um... I wish you, like, if I had to change one thing about this, I wish you could just buy back the cards you lost, like, immediately. Rather than having to go out, buy them, put something else in your deck instead, and then, uh, go edit your deck and put them back in. I don't know. I just wish that was something that was in. So I, I put that in instead. What was the other crappy card that I put in? There must be another one. Oh yeah, I put in Birder because I didn't have anything else to put in, really. And I want you back. Alright, let's give Tinker Knight another shot. Like I said, he's not too terribly difficult in all honesty. I just need to kind of get used to the idea of this um, mechanic, as it were. Alright, I liked, I liked placing Phantom Knight off the screen like that. That was pretty useful, I found. Hmm. Now I could place you here, but that would be kind of a waste. Let's just let's just place Toter there, just to. He's he's not useful to us right now, so. Hmm. Well, I would be destroying that card. Ideally, I don't want to destroy it. I don't want to get rid of these Cascades because they are very powerful. But at the same time, so is Mole Knight. If I had to pick one that's the like least powerful, it's probably you. So let's just go ahead and get rid of you. Okay, so that card went ahead and got out of here. That is fine by me. Hmm. I could just flood the board with my own cards again. But I think doing this is probably the better call. Ah, okay, so no, that was not a good call. Because he just annihilated me. That's a good call, though. There you go, just get out of here. Yeah, Mole Knight's such a powerful card. Ah, but he had that... Ah, he had the stupid Tinker Knight card. That card is just unstoppable if you put it in that particular spot where there's one on the edge. I should have been paying attention to what cards he had drawn. That was on me. If only I could steal it, but I can't push the damn thing. Oh wait, he's gonna move down next turn. And if he does, that he's gonna get super, super boned by that. Alright, well let's get rid of one of you, shall we? Alright, so down he moves and dies. Good. That is what we want. 
Now, I could... ...do that, and then he's gonna move down next turn and lose it? Probably? Or I could just do that and push him up... ...out of the match, but... ...I don't really think that's particularly useful. Hmm. That card would be fairly useless if I did that. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with that. Alright. I could push you out. Could do that. I could push Phantom Knight in to create a spot there. Ah, uh, but that would set up that card he has up at the top to just kind of mow through and take all of that stuff. I don't think I want to do that. Hmm. Not really a lot of good plays for me to make currently. Hmm. He could potentially screw me up there if I did that, so no. Ooh, wait. But if I... if I do this, he's probably gonna place that card up at the top he has on that, and it's a conveyor card, and it'll just move down. I could cascade that card and steal it, and that would be very, very useful. Thank you very much. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to that one at the bottom going up. Oops. Okay, this is a good play, though. There we go. So now we've got that card. He still doesn't have anything that can push down, and he can't push that conveyor card up. So I'm good there. I think this is what we want to do. And now... I can be pushed to the right. And that would probably be a bad move. I mean, I would still... I would still get... the card. Either way. And he can't move Pride more up, he can move him to the right. He still doesn't have anything that can push down, so he couldn't steal a gem that way. Yeah, let's just go with that. I think we have it here. I think we're good. Yeah. There we go. Two gems. Cool. Hard fought Tinker Knight, just like your boss fight. What card do I want? I mean, the sign daggers... pretty good. Let's just grab one of those. A thousand money! Alright, how about we grab some more level 3 cards? Level 3 mystery! We have the cash, why not? There's a Tinker Bot. We just saw one of those. A Tundred. And I can afford one more. A Ring Strider. Cool. Well, alrighty. So we defeated Tinker Knight in like all instances this episode, so that's pretty good. Had a bit of difficulty at the beginning with uh, that boss but it should be fine. Regardless, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Shovel Knight King of Cards, and I will see you next time.